everyone what's up what's up so i wanted to do a video today that is all about challenges and changes that women go through while pregnant this is something that has been really somewhat a traumatizing experience for me especially with you know everything that was going on in 2020 and I don't really talk about it but I think I just need to really talk about it because this is the reality of the situation co-parenting in 2021 while pregnant during a pandemic is very very mentally exhausting it's so mentally exhausting you know, um, so the person, you know, that I am co-parenting with, his name is Lewis. Um, and although I have not given birth yet, it's really important to be on the same page as, you know, your children's father when you are, um, you know, in the process of bringing a, you know, you know, starting this new journey of, you know, making babies and things like that together. And so Lewis and I have been very, very, um, you know, we've had healthy communication in the aspect of deciding how we want things to be done after I give birth um, in regards to me having full custody and him, you know, having access to visitation whenever he wants, as long as I'm there, you know, um, me being a full-time mom and not expecting him to have any kind of physical custody and, you know, what level of involvement that I want from him as well as the level of involvement that he desires as a father. We have been very responsible about those conversations and that's something that I am proud of. So I encourage, you know, everyone who is co-parenting with someone that they're not in a relationship with to have those conversations because we actually had these conversations before I got pregnant and we also had the conversation you know a few times after I got pregnant and I felt really good about our level of communication when that you know as far as that was concerned um we had a point in time where there was no communication and I felt like I wanted to be courted I felt like you know, I shouldn't have to reach out to him. He should reach out to me. Well, the holidays came around and then I finally reached out to him. And then, you know, I really didn't hear much back from him, you know, except for, okay, I hope you have a great holiday. God bless you sort of a thing or whatever. And um, so then when I finally did call him to see like, what's up? Why aren't you like more involved? with everything that I'm going through and we're co-parenting together but I feel like I'm co-parenting alone and um that's when he let me know that he had issues with his phone and um you know my number wasn't in his phone somehow and so you know he was going to make an effort to do better that was just yesterday that we had that conversation and it seems like, you know, already things are going back downhill with our level of communication. He, you know, decided to travel to Pittsburgh um, in the midst of there being a snowstorm across, uh, you know, the East Coast. Um, so he's in Pittsburgh today. And now all of a sudden, like, I just was like, okay. You say you want to be back in a relationship with me. So I, you know, I'm not going to nag about it, but I did call him a few times. And now he won't even, you know, reply to text messages. He won't answer my phone calls. He won't even call me back. And I'm just thinking to myself, like, I know I'm fine and everything's okay. But what if it was like some sort of mommy emergency, you know, that would require him to be there, you know, as a father and, he is off in Pittsburgh, more than likely with another woman. I'm not dumb. 
And so these are the realities of the challenges that women have to deal with while co-parenting, especially during a pandemic, is the fact that with me being pregnant, I'm vulnerable. And, you know, for him to decide to travel to Pittsburgh, which I thought was a totally bad idea to begin with, and I expressed that, you know, um, and I don't know who he's with or what he's doing out there. And then he's going to want to come back and talk about, oh, we should be together and be one big happy family, you know, and, um, you know, be mommy and daddy and act like this breach in communication did not happen. It's just so unrealistic and it's so unfair to me. It's so unfair to me. And ladies, at some point, you just have to say, look. I'm getting fat. I am getting acne breakouts that I did not have before. My hair is not like on point like it used to be. Um, you know, I am not the same woman that I was before I was pregnant because I don't have the freedom to do the things that I could do before I was pregnant. And that can result in having to accept He's just not that into you. And that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at mentally. And I just want to share with any other woman who is, you know, feeling this way, vulnerable, pregnant, abandoned, alone, you know, co-parenting with the father that is gallivanting from city to city with God knows what, you know, skinny woman um, you're not alone, even though you're like co-parenting by yourself, essentially, you know, there's other women going through what you're going through. And I think there needs to be like a sister circle support system for women who are abandoned while pregnant and, you know, have to learn how to accept that he's just not that into you. And it hurts. It's like, daggers through my back you know and it's like it's like it's the worst kind of humiliation because at the end of the day I'm still going to be a good mother I'm still going to do everything that I have to do I'm still going to spend my last on my children you know um I'm still going to have unconditional love as a mother but it's like there has to come a point in time where you protect your heart from the pain you know this pain that I'm feeling I do not deserve because I did nothing wrong to him I have been so faithful I've been celibate whenever I'm not with him you know and when I'm with him I'm so good to him and so it's just it's not fair that my dream is being shattered in this way to like make me feel inadequate because I'm going through these personal changes. You know, it's not insecurity. It's him making me feel inadequate because of the way that I'm being treated. And I am grateful that I have a strong sense of self-worth and confidence, but that doesn't take away the pain, you know? And I am woman enough and strong enough to admit Sometimes you have to acknowledge the hurt. Sometimes you have to acknowledge the humiliation, the heartbreak that you feel, you know, that I'm feeling. And once you acknowledge it and accept it and you let it, you know, simmer for a little bit, then you pick yourself up and you start your next chapter, you know, whatever that means, whatever that is. But I'm just putting this out there because... There needs to be some kind of a sister circle support group for women who go through this while pregnant. I can't just act like I don't feel some type of way because I do. I do. I'm hurt. My heart is so broken right now. I feel embarrassed. I feel humiliated. I feel just dumb. I feel stupid, you know, and I know I'm not dumb or stupid I'm highly educated and I'm a good woman and a great person so I'm like you know why God is this happening to me like why is God you know 
not giving this man the compassion that it takes to co-parent with me in a way that wouldn't break my heart. Like, people need to just have a heart, you know, and think about the feelings that you hurt before you trample, you know, on somebody's spirit. Like, like my heart is some kind of a doormat. And I'm human with feelings who deserves love because that's all that I give. So I just wanted to share that and um, I'll be uploading the day 16 secret daily inspiration soon. So let me know what you think in the comments below. If you can relate, if you know someone who's been through this before, um, you know, this is a judgment free zone. I don't care what anybody thinks about what I just said. I needed to put that out there that Lewis and I are having these issues. Even though, you know, I thought yesterday was a fresh start for us because we had a healthy conversation about, you know, making good changes in our relationship. But that conversation seemed to obviously go nowhere. But he went somewhere. He went to Pittsburgh and he's living it up. And I'm just like looking like a total idiot at home being a good woman. So... Wow, just let me know what you think. All right.